Hello YouTube, this is Garrowin again. Just thought I'd make a quick video here. Uh, it is May the 3rd, and I am digging Mayapple. Now, Mayapple is a root that you uh, can sell uh, to the right people if they're in your area. Uh, I believe it's probably the cheapest root you can sell per pound. Uh, it's $3.50 a pound here, I think. But, uh... This is the plant, and it first pops up at the beginning of the spring, and it'll be a little small thing, about that big, and it, you might even mistake it for a morel mushroom at a distance. But about May, it starts looking like this. Now, uh, I've got a trowel here. You can see the roots get pretty big, which uh, I guess kind of contributes to how little you get per pound because they're so big. But uh, what you end up with is uh, you'll have three or four plants all sharing a root system. So what I usually do is, uh, let's say I wanted to dig, let's say this one. It's a pretty good size. I'm going to leave a couple in each patch and I always leave a little nub of the root on the end of the plant. So they'll grow back next year. Maybe even continue to grow a little bit this year. I don't want to totally kill it out. Clear the weeds away from the bottom of it, so that you've got kind of a access to the dirt here. So I just wanted to take five seconds to show you guys what it looks like, how to dig it. Ow! That one's thorny. Alright, so we found the stalk of the plant. Alright. So generally what I do is I take my trowel and I just kind of start scraping dirt down. Now it may go down four or five inches. This one, right there's the root. Now a mayapple root may fork a lot. Now once I actually find the root material of the plant, I stop using my trowel because it's real brittle and it breaks easy. I've already got a notch in this one just from uh digging around it and it's hard to kind of trace it or refine the rest of it if it's broken so i recommend once you find the root just kind of follow it with your finger you know pull the dirt away from it now it may fork like i said normally i mean i've seen three or four plants all connected to one big root system now, i'm not going to bore you while i spend five minutes tracking that one down but what you'll end up with is a root about like that. And uh, like any other root, ginseng, blood root, yellow root, you take it home, wash it off in cool, clear water. And I use a toothbrush to brush all the dirt off of it. And then some people use a dehydrator, or you can just lay it out on a pan on your front porch for a week or so and let it dry out so there's no moisture in it. And you can take it to your local herb buyer and uh, sell it for whatever they're offering to pay for it. Uh, this is a little bit more work than ginseng to uh, get out of the ground. But it comes up earlier and there's a hell of a lot more of it than there is of ginseng. So if you've got some time to get out into the woods, go for it.